Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of Black Pumpkin. Alright, cast and crew information down below, and uh, I'll read you the IMDb plot to start off. On October 31st, two preteens in a small town accidentally awaken an evil that has lain dormant for decades. They are forced to survive through a terrifying Halloween night of cat and mouse from the monster known as Bloody Bobby. All right. So, if, you know, while she screams in my ear here, we'll continue with this review. Um, this is, I guess it says here 2018, but I guess they just released it. So, um, it's another one of these indie films that, um, I guess, took a while to get a distribution here. Um, and it truly is an indie film. Um, probably not the biggest budget here. But um, the first thing that caught me was was obviously the name Black Pumpkin. I don't know something about that kind of said told me I should watch this. Um, and as you'll see, it, it's it's going to start off a little bit slow, and uh, you're probably going to really feel the the indie vibe um, at the beginning uh, before they kind of get into some of the better stuff and, and Bloody Bobby and so forth. Um, you're gonna have to put sit through some story setup and uh, a reliance on some of the actors. Some of the acting is okay. Some of it might be a little tough, but you know it's an, an indie project, um, so you know you you know, you know what you're getting. Um, so yeah, that the beginning is a little slow, <clears throat> a little awkward in some parts. Um, basically, here you you get introduced to two kids. One of them is. Um, picked on a little bit and at one point was chased by some older kids and actually a pretty funny scene where he um, chase it's a decent chase scene but then you know he eventually gets chased all the way back to his house and then um, I, I, I don't know if it was his sister or an older girl that, that was babysitting and she comes out to kind of rescue him as he's getting picked on in the front yard and the two boys that are picking on him uh, know the girl and obviously they, they like her so they're kind of taken aback by picking on him and they're like no no we were just playing with him or, you know kind of a fun scene uh, regardless um, but those are the kind of like time filling things that you have in the beginning of this film um, but they do set up the story of Bloody Bobby and, and basically these two kids are doing a project for school and they do a good job with it and uh, put it on YouTube, get a lot of hits, and uh, in the process kind of awaken the story of Bloody Bobby. And uh, so then I would say maybe halfway through or, or so, you start finally seeing some deaths. Some of the older kids start going to this camp area where I guess this, where Bloody Bobby first began, the story of Bloody Bobby and uh, they start dying and then it eventually comes back and comes full circle and, and heads more towards these kids. Um, so what I, I, I think the, obviously the fun part is once, once you start getting to the kills of the movie. Um, you know, you kind of get that typical 80s slasher vibe kind of thing going on here. Um, even though you might not typically call Bloody Bobby a slasher, I don't know, I mean, maybe he is, um, but uh, when I first saw Bloody Bobby, I kind of was having that thoughts of um, Trick or Treat and Sam, you know, there, there's one scene where the girl, and, and he rings the doorbell, and then she goes and she looks, and then there's nobody there, then he goes back, and um, I don't know, he's not... Um, the tallest of fellows, he, and he also has a pumpkin head. Um, very different look than, say, Sam. Sam is, is a lot more colorful and so forth. Uh, Bloody Bobby is very dark, has the black pumpkin, got big teeth. Um, but it was a little funny because it, it almost seemed like Bloody Bobby was like a little kid that was attacking them. Uh, some parts it maybe he looked bigger than other parts. Um, but I thought, you know, once they got to that part, um, if you're not looking for a film with, with 
you know, fantastic acting and, and big budget here, and, and kind of giving you that, you know, old school feel, and, and just having a bunch of people killed, and you enjoy that kind of movie, then this, this might be one that works for you. Um, I, I think once they, they kind of get to the killing part and get to the action part, that's the strength of the movie. I think you know, towards the beginning when they're just talking and setting that things up, uh, maybe it's a, a little bit dragging there and uh, not the strong point for, for um, anybody there. So uh, some decent kills, and I think one of the, the, the interesting things is, you know, you have two young boys here, but Bloody Bobby goes after both of them and um, equally as well. You know, they're not just spared because they're young boys. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Um, but I, I think, you know, this one is, is probably going to enter in the realm of two two pools of blood. Um, uh, just because just cause the beginning, you know, I, I'm, you know me, I, I like blood and guts. I like the kills. I like anything that's slasher or slasher-like. And uh, I definitely like the back half of this movie. Um... But, you know, it was very tough to, to get going and, and to kind of get into it. Um, I, I, again, think you will see elements of trick-or-treating in it. And, again, it does um, happen on Halloween night because why not? Um, so, you know, that, that kind of adds some fun to it. But, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're just looking for another movie with, with some kills and, and you're not wor too worried about the acting... Um, you know, this one's not, not, not terrible, not, it's not painful, it's not a painful watch, I watched some others the other day that was pretty painful, um, that this is, this is not a painful watch, uh, you know, you do have to get through a little bit at the beginning, um, but I think it, it will make up for it in the end, um, I gave it two pools of blood just because, you know, I, you know, can't give it any more with, you know, half the film just kind of being, eh. Um, but I just want to, you know, I figured that, that I'd give this one a shot and do a review for this one because this one, uh, might be one you, you haven't heard of. Uh, I believe it came out recently on, on DVD. I uh, don't know if it was, it went to On Demand as well. I should have checked before. Um, but again, it was made, I guess, two years ago. Uh, anyway... Yeah, two pools of blood. I guess there's no, no need to to go on too much more about this one. They got a pretty cool poster. I guess I should I should say that as well. So um, if that that might be an extra temptation to get you into the film, the trailer wasn't bad either. Um, so yeah, two pools of blood. Um, again, all that information down below about the film, and um, of course you can catch more reviews at horrorsgorereviews.blogspot.com, and that is the video reviews as well as some written reviews and uh, reviews going way back um, and of course Twitter Facebook links are down below as well uh, if you want to talk about this film other films you want to share a film with me um, we can talk about it there as well comment section please comment on this video comment on the movie if you saw it and your thoughts um, anything to talk horror talk these movies talk about other movies whatever you want um, so yeah, I guess that that's it with this one, and hopefully I can get her to so stop screaming in my ear and uh, move on to the next review. So I'll catch you later, horror fans.